really simple we've got today fish mushrooms stir fry chinese style soy oyster sauce garlic delicious stuff welcome back once again to how to cook a great food.com let's get on with this beauty okay so we're going to get started with our fish of course now i'm using some dory fish which was a frozen fish that i just defrosted and cut it into nice large chunks as you can see there you can use any type of fish you want this works really well i've got some plain flour there's like two cups of flour it's probably too much but no problem corn flour or cornstarch you could use as well teaspoon of black pepper and salt and then teaspoon of ginger powder and garlic powder very simply we're going to get these guys into our flour to make a seasoned flour and then we're going to flour the fish and off to the cooker so mixing bowl salt and pepper ginger powder garlic powder just going to give that a little mix next up we're going to be dipping our fish straight into the flour and then off to the cooker to fry okay so grab a piece of fish get it in your flour Give it a nice coating, make sure you get all the edges done. Little shake, put it on a plate, repeat the process. See you at the cooker. Okay, so there's our seasoned floured fish. Now, if you wanted, you could add more than I put in. You could really highly season it. You could also put maybe a bit of five spice in there if you wanted, or just some star anise, something like that. Okay. Now I've got some oil here, like one or two centimeters. Now you can shallow fry this, deep fry it, or kind of go in the middle like I'm doing. We're getting it hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up some fish and in she goes. We're gonna go for about six minutes because this fish cooks really nice and quickly. And I'm gonna be turning it two or three times. Once it's done, it's gonna come out and it's gonna go on a plate with some kitchen towel just to get any excess oil off that. So yeah, about six or seven minutes, I'll be turning it a couple of times. Don't turn it just yet. Let it kind of just crisp a little bit you know, a couple of minutes, then start turning. Okay, like six minutes, six or seven minutes. Now it's on some paper towel. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Nice and golden brown. And what that's done is it's kind of one seasoned it and two, it's kind of toughened it up. So it's great to use in the wok. Let's move on. Okay, so with our fish ready, we can move on and take a look at the other ingredients. So I've got one onion sliced. I've got some fresh mushrooms there. There's like 100 grams, 120 grams, and I've quartered them, sliced them if you want. Three tablespoons oyster sauce, three tablespoons soy. The, I'm using a light soy sauce. Black pepper, teaspoon, tablespoon of garlic. And then here I've got some green onions, scallions, or spring onions, whatever you call them. We're gonna start this off with some oil. Please note that I'm not using any salt now because salty, salty, no need. So you're going to need a wok or a frying pan or something like that. I've got some oil in there. I'm using sunflower oil. You could use something different if you want. We're on quite a high heat. 
Yeah. In goes the onion. And the tablespoon of chopped garlic. If you wanted, you could be putting some fresh ginger in here. Just a couple of minutes, two to three minutes, stirring all the time, then we can move on. Keep the heat high. We're now gonna add our mushrooms. And again, we're gonna go for about another two to three minutes. Again, stirring all the time. We'll have this done in absolutely no time at all. Wonderful stuff. Let's add that black pepper. Like I say, not adding any salt because our soy is salty. Our oyster sauce, salty. Get a little bit of just water in there. We're now gonna drop in our cooked fish. Keep the heat high. And go now for about four minutes. Again, stirring all the time. We wanna reduce down this soy oyster, oyster sauce and water. We're so nearly done, it's beautiful. See, it's just starting to thicken up a little bit there. Off goes the heat. Let's grab a few of those green onions or spring onions, whatever you call them. I'm gonna stir that in. Job done, see you at the table. That is a beautiful dish. And there you go, job done. That is beautiful with some white rice, just steamed rice, that'd be fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Please do give us a thumbs up. That helps us out a great deal. And leave us a comment and say hi. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.